Hello and welcome. Look at what we managed to find on one of Bahamas beaches. It is a live strombus gigas mollusk, also known as a pink conch or queen conch. It is really rare to find a live pink conch on the beach. This shell is approximately two to three years old and has almost reached adulthood. When the shell is up to 15 millimeters thick and 18 centimeters long, it is considered an adult and is ready to be. It is fully mature when it reaches three to four years of age. It is a pretty funny looking creature. Its eyes are on stalks. It almost looks like a cartoon character. Look at how it's trying to fight for its life, trying to get out of the hands of this person. The adult pink conch can mate up to nine times in a year, and these mollusks are only distinctly male or female. A female can lay up to one million eggs. However, only one will reach adulthood. That's unbelievable. The pink conch is herbivorous. They feed mainly on algae and seaweed. They can live up to 30 years and live in both shallow water and deep water, up to 30 meters deep. Lots of biological research has shown that the normal breeding requires approximately 100 adult mollusks per hectare of seafloor. That explains the sharp decline of the pink conch population in and around the Caribbean Sea. In some areas, there are only 15 adult mollusks per hectare, which is almost six times less than what is considered necessary for normal breeding. The main problem is severe overfishing over the past years, and this is due to its very delicious meat. Traditionally, Caribbeans cook many dishes with these conch, including the famous conch salad. This dish is extremely desirable and offered in many restaurants scattered around the Caribbean. Despite the multiple new regulations for fishing vessels and seasonal restrictions, the population of pink conch continues to decline. This population declines yearly at an alarming rate of 50% less than the population from the previous year. Unfortunately, all the restrictions don't apply to the local people, and they continue to catch and eat the conch as usual. Although, it becomes harder for them to do so, since they are left to dive deeper and further from the beach in order to catch and find these conch. Still, these pink conch are offered to tourists and restaurants. For example, on any beach, you can easily find a few dead shells inside the water or on the beach. It is very painful to see hundreds of dead shells pile up after a successful fishing trip. You can see the hole at the top of the shell made by a sharp instrument as part of the killing process. The population of pink conch is restoring itself very slowly, simply because there aren't enough adult mollusks per hectare of seafloor. They also move extremely slowly, so it becomes hard for a male and a female to find each other and mate. Genetical tests show that the population of pink conch is very localized. They cannot travel very far. Even the younger ones can't travel far and are usually found in one general area. Even now, if we cease fishing completely to try to restore the population, it will take years to do so. If it is possible, we'd need the cooperation from the locals and the tourists. In some areas, they are already extinct. I don't want to finish this video on a sad note, so I'm going to say that one out of 10,000 shells has unique treasure a very rare pink pearl. The larger pearls are valued more than diamonds. This fact gives us hope that maybe one day, scientists will find a way to grow these pearls in conch in captivity and breed them commercially. This gives us hope that the pink conch won't go completely extinct and leave only its beautiful shell with the hole inside to remember them by. Thank you so much for watching and leave your comments and questions below.